Hello friends, in today's video lab, we are going to see what is group policy enforcement, what is group policy inheritance and how to block group policy inheritance. Group policy enforcement, inheritance and block inheritance provides the administrator with the necessary flexibility of allowing the successfully group policy deployment within a totality organization. Especially in a large organizations where multiple group policy objects are applied at different levels within the active directory and that causing some group policy objects to accidentally override other settings. So first of all, let's understand what is group policy object inheritance. As you know already, group policy object can be linked at site, domain, OU and child OUs. By default, group policy settings that are linked to the parent object are inherited to the child object in the active directory hierarchical structure. By default, default domain policy is a link to the domain and is inherited to all the child object of the domain hierarchical structure. GPU inheritance lets the administrator to set a common set of policy to the domain level or site level and configure more specific policy at the OU level. Now, in our scenarios, I set up our one policy at uh, our OU level name India and we have a one policy that prevent theme changes on Windows system. Now, as you can see, we set a policy prevent changing theme and that is enable. Now, at a child OU level on HR team OU, I just set up a policy is lock the taskbar and that is enable. That means if group policy inheritance is there on our user from our OU HR team will have a two settings enable on them. First, prevent theme changing and second lock the taskbar and if we see active directory under HR team we have a one user named Jason Roy. Now let's going back on Windows 10 system. So this is the our Windows 10 computer and uh, on this computer already a login as our user named Jason Roy. Now let's run rsop.msc. Now if you see the result the taskbar is currently locked and if you try to change the theme As you can see, we are not able to change the theme. That means the both policies are applying on our user named Jason Roy. Now let's see the uh, property of our user configuration. And as you can see, we have a uh, two policies which are currently applying on us and that is preventing theme change and second one is a lock taskbar. But the lock taskbar policy has a higher precedence over prevent theme changes. Click on OK no and let's come back on our group policy management console. As GPO can be inherited by default, they can also be blocked if required by using block inheritance feature. If the block inheritance setting is enabled, the inheritance of the group policy setting is blocked. This setting is mostly used when the OU contains users or computers that require different settings than what is applied to the domain level. Now if you want to enable block inheritance at our HR team level, just right click on the OU and select block inheritance. Now as you can see there is a special marks that is indicating we just enable a block inheritance at HR team level. Let's go back to Windows 10 computer and let's uh, sign out. Let's again log in as our user named Jackson Roy. Okay and now let's run command rsop.msc click on close right click on user configuration and select property as you can see right now we have only one policy and that is lock taskbar if we select these three checkbox we can see there is a one policy prevent theme changes but these policies are not applied due to block click on ok and click on close click on no and if you see the taskbar setting, it is locked. But now the user is able to change the theme. Click on theme, click on theme settings, and we can set a theme in on our Windows 10 client computer. So this is the way how we can enable the block inheritance in group policy. Now let's come back on our Windows Server 2016 VM. Now let's discuss about the enforcement. So what is group policy enforcement? These options prevents a GPO from being overwrite by other GPO. Let's say that you want to apply a one GPO 
and you do not want the GPO to be overwrite by the GPO that is executed later. By enforcing a GPO link, the GPO takes the highest precedence which will prevail over any conflicting policy settings in a other GPO. In addition, an enforce link applies to child container even when those containers are set to block inheritance. Now, for example, let's see we have a two policy. One is prevent theme change and second is lock the taskbar. In a lower level policy, we just enable the block inheritance. So policy prevent theme changes will not apply to this OU. But we still need to push a policy prevent theme changes in a everyone in the organization no matter what is there. So by enforcing the policy, we can even push it to the OU even it use the block inheritance. So from India level, we want to enforce this policy to all our child OUs. So to do that, just right click on it and select enforce. Now, as you can see, there is also one special marks that is indicating we just enable the enforcement on this GPO. Now, let's going back on our Windows 10 computer. Let's just sign out from this computer and sign in again. So, once you sign in again, just uh, right click on it. As you can see, our taskbar is still locked. And if you see the settings for our theme, click on themes, click on theme changes. And as you can see, we are not able to change the theme. Now, if you run a rsop.msc command, click on close, right click on user configuration, select properties. As you can see, prevent theme changes has a highest precedence over locked taskbar settings. And if you see the all settings, by default, these policies are applying on our this user named Justin Roy. Our default domain policy is still not applying due to block inheritance. But if you see the prevent theme changes policy, it is applying because we just set an enforcement on that group policy object. So this is the way how we can use group policy inheritance, group policy block inheritance and group policy enforcement in Windows Server 2016 Group Policy Management.